everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Lauren and I do luxury unboxings and reviews and a little bit of fashion sort of thrown in there. So if that's something that you enjoy, I would love for you to subscribe down below. Today, I'm gonna to show you a new bag that I just purchased. Um, my husband and I got back from Chicago yesterday. We were there for four days and I knew going in that I wanted to go to the Goyard store. There are no locations in Canada, which totally sucks unless you're gonna get it, I guess, consigned or pre-loved. But um, the closest one to me would probably be LA in Beverly Hills. But okay, I'm digressing. We went to Chicago. I knew I wanted to go check out this bag. It's been on my wish list for about three years. Um, I was really going back and forth between the GM and the PM. I feel like a lot of people on um, Instagram and on YouTube or just in general have the GM, but it looked massive to me. So. Um, obviously I ended up with a PM, so today I'm going to show you sort of some modeling shots so you can see my, like how it fits on me for reference, as well as sort of why I actually got this size instead of the GM. So, uh, if you are interested, then stick around. So the Goyard location in Chicago is actually located in Neiman Marcus. Um, it's a really small store and to be completely honest with you, it was sort of underwhelming. I just didn't have sort of that luxury type of experience that say you would get um, at Holt Renfrew, uh, sorry, at the Louis Vuitton in Holt Renfrew. Um, it's just a little bit different, but I got the bag that I wanted just in case you go, just know it's a very small store. It might be a little bit um, underwhelming. <laughs> okay, so the bag I got, I took a carry-on with me and the actual bag that they gave me is super long and it didn't actually even fit in my carry-on so I had to sort of fold it like that which kind of sucks but whatever, it's like the bag. So um, please also note that it doesn't come, at least my bag didn't come with a box so it was just sort of packaged in this bag here and then it was folded. So this is it here, but they had actually folded it up into thirds and all they did was sort of wrap it with um, tissue paper. So it's not the sort of same experience, like I said, if you were to go to Louis Vuitton or Chanel or anything kind of like that, where they sort of make it look really pretty for you, at least this bag. So it's in its dust bag. One thing I also don't like is that it comes with this plastic around the handles, which I feel like kind of makes it look cheaper but every single post that I read online or watched on YouTube said they all come with this and it's almost like their return policy, I think. So if you take this off and you can't really return it, like this has to, the plastic has to be on in order to return it. But that's just the dust bag there. And then I got the black on black. Um, this is one of the classic colors. You could also get the um, one with the beige handles. And then you could also go for some of the special colors. The special colors for the PM, I think, and as well as the GM are about $200 more. So it can add up. Um, inside here, it's just a big open tote, which is what I wanted. I don't have a tote bag. And um, I was looking at the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. But to be completely honest, I love Louis Vuitton. Um, there were just a couple things about the Goyer that really attracted me to it. So the first thing is that it's really understated. I feel like if you know Goyard and you know the print, then you'll know what bag this is. Um, but if you're not familiar with the brand, then you'll probably just think it's like just like a regular tote. So I like that it's understated. And um, as well, I feel like everyone has the Neverfull. And that's probably because it's a really durable and great bag, but I just, I see it so often. And, it was so funny in Chicago actually at the airport. I just did my own little study So in 20 minutes, I timed it in 20 minutes. I saw nine of the Louis Vuitton Neverfulls Nine and I saw zero of these go by so that's why I kind of wanted this bag because here in Vancouver I feel like it's super oversaturated I feel like everybody has a Neverfull and half the time I feel like they're also fake and really bad fakes So I just didn't want to get it um, but this is actually very comparable to the, um, the Neverfull. So the size of this, this is the PM um, of the St. Louis tote, and they also have the GM. They have no MM, but the PM is the equivalent to the Louis Vuitton MM, um, the Neverfull. So I actually wrote down the um, dimensions. So if you go by width, it's 12, and then height, it's 30. So 12 across at the base. 
I believe from corner to corner it's 18, and then the height of it 13, and the actual depth is 7, and the Neverfull it's 12.6 by 11 by 6. So essentially the bags are almost the same in dimensions. Um, the only difference is the strap drop. So the strap drop on this one here is 7 inches whereas on the Louis Vuitton it's 8.5 so you're losing a little bit there. So just a big open bag and so all that came in it was basically a receipt. Um, I will leave the prices down below. Essentially, this bag cost me the same with, you know, the conversion from US dollars to Canadian dollars and with taxes and everything. It would cost me the same as the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM would be here with taxes included. So it was really the same price. And then it also came, what's in the back here? There's this little pouch. Please note the pouch itself, unlike the Neverfull, can't be taken off here but it can be removed there. So you can just use the pouch itself and it has a pocket in the back. And if you've watched any of my wallet videos, you'll know that this is like important to me. This is just the tag. I don't know what this is, this is just nothing. But that basically is just telling you what it's made out of and it has the little Goyard logo in the back. And then inside the pouch here, I haven't actually opened this up yet, is the, I'm assuming this is authenticity. Yeah, so just sort of authenticity papers are hiding inside there. Or maybe this is also textile papers. So that's basically all that you get with it. It's just a tote. That's all it is. <laughs> um, okay, so what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do some modeling shots for you. I'll probably film that on my iPhone just because it's a little bit easier. So there you go. And now we'll go to the modeling shots. Okay, so here is the bag on me, and for reference, I'm about 5'5 five five and 115 pounds. You can see like the strap drop. I still have like quite a bit of room underneath there. Um, the GM, there was, it was definitely more comfortable, but it was just massive. And I'm gonna link this video down below. It's of this person on YouTube comparing both the PM as well as the GM size. And she's about my um, height and sort of like frame. Um, and the GM looked massive on her and it looked massive on me as well. Okay, so I literally just threw the Gucci bag in here. Um, so now you can sort of see what it looks like when it's actually full. And what I love about this is that, that there's no sag. The GM sagged significantly. And then when I actually put my bag in, it drooped down even more and it just looked really unstructured. And I know that that's sort of like one of the features of this bag is that it's supposed to be very casual and look unstructured but I just didn't like that look. So um, I think that this, this looks pretty good. As you can see, it's massive. Like for my everyday needs, this bag definitely has more than enough room. I'm just planning on using this bag for if I do um, sort of returns and I need more space or um, on the weekend, if I'm just running errands, I'm not planning on using this as a work bag. And I know Goyard also says that it's not meant to be a work bag, it's meant to be a beach bag. So if you're throwing in like your laptop as well as your like water bottle and just a ton of stuff, then it's gonna show more wear and tear. And that's not what the bag is actually for. You can see I actually want to show you this part up close, which is the strap drop. So you can see that I still probably have about an inch and a half underneath my armpit area. I did try this on with a jacket when I was um, at the store and it was a leather jacket and it did fit. But if you have sort of bigger arms, um, then the GM might fit you a little bit better. But for me, the PM is totally fine. Okay, so I really hope that the modeling shots helped you, but if you have any questions, please leave them down below or if you want to see what sort of fits in this size bag, the PM size, um, or if you want to see a review on the wear and tear later on, please uh, leave that all down below for me. I will show you, since I do have my phone now, um, that it does fit into this pouch. I think it will fit in the back part too. Oh, so it'll fit perfectly. This is the iPhone, the regular one, not the Plus. It fits perfectly in the back, as well as the front. There's still a significant amount of room in there, so the plus might fit in, and that, oh my gosh, I just looked, my makeup looks really 
patchy, but I swear it's not patchy. It's just the lighting, I think. Oof. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, so it fits in perfectly. There you go. I'm really excited to use it. I've only seen two people in Vancouver carrying this bag. Um, whereas, like I said, I see the, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull daily. So I'm really excited. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, please leave them down below. Other than that, I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.